struggling to get it all out of this Vitamix today. Okay, so now in our large bowl, I'm gonna mix the dry ingredients, the oat flour and the baking powder. I just love the way oat flour tastes for cookies because oats are naturally a little sweet and the tech, I just like the texture that they bring to cookies. And in a separate bowl, I'm going to mix my wet ingredients. So that's my date paste, my almond butter, and my vanilla extract. Super simple. Mix the dry and the wet until it forms a dough ball. together add your cacao nibs. I'm going to leave some not mixed in so I can sprinkle them on top so it looks really pretty. <laughs> it's kind of like a giant date ball. You know those like snack energy balls? I'll link the recipe to some of my savory ones down below. So once you have a giant date bowl, I'm going to put this in the fridge and let it rest for a few minutes before I scoop it onto the pan. And you know what? The best thing about making vegan cookie dough? You can eat it raw without a worry. Okay. I'm going to pop this in the fridge while I clean up some of these dishes. And I will meet you back here to scoop the nice cream. We're going to make the inside of the sandwiches now. I've already made the nice cream. And I froze it right after I made it so that it stayed nice and creamy. I'm going to let the nice cream sit out for just a minute to make it a little bit easier to scoop. 
and I only have really small scoops, so I'll probably do like two, double, and form little patties so that once the cookies are made, smash it together, put them back in the freezer, and then they're done. It's that easy. That's right, homemade ice cream sandwiches that are healthy. What is this? All right, I'm gonna get to scooping. So because my scoop is very small, I'm just like scooping a ball and then scooping another ball and smooshing it down on top. Smoosh! Since I feel like nice cream melts a lot quicker than regular ice cream, I'm gonna put this in the freezer for just a minute so it can firm back up and then I'm gonna shape it into little patties. Now I'm gonna take that same scoop and scoop the cookie dough. Take a fork and smush it down, but I'm just dipping it in warm water so it doesn't stick to the cookies. With one each way, just make a little cross hatch pattern on the cookie. Oh no, it's still sticking! You can dip your fingers in there too so it doesn't stick to you. I feel like I used the smallest fork we have. I really should have grabbed a bigger fork. But I don't want to make more dishes for myself now, so I'm going to make it work. <laughs> and then I'm going to sprinkle the last of my cacao nibs on top. I'm literally just trying to squish them together and clean up the edges. Because then I can squish them the rest of the way with the cookie. And it's melting really fast, so I have to go really, really, really fast! Oh no! Apparently ban frozen banana actually sticks to a silicone mat. What is this? Nothing is supposed to stick to these. My hand is so cold now, it's freezing. Oh my God, my hands are so cold. It's time to put the ice cream sandwiches together.
Now I gotta quickly put all the rest of them together so they don't melt! So I'm just kind of squishing the ice cream between the cookies and then I'm rolling it on its side to flatten it so I don't have ice cream all sticking out. Look at that. Ice cream sandwiches! Okay, now I'm gonna freeze this and then once it's all frozen together, we're gonna taste it. So, these are my healthy ice cream sandwiches. Oh, I'm so excited.